I'm Ray and welcome back to Danganronpa. Yes, I'm wearing glasses because I'm blind. Not really, but yeah, I'm also lazy and my eyes would like super dry today. Uh, There's no other there way go. to explain the presence of that class in that bottle. Yeah, so we're finishing up this class trial this this time because I swear to fucking God Almighty. And then once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, no, hold on. You're moving too fast. You're a bitch. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? It's not at all. Oh Just fuck, I didn't mean to that. Best of your ability. Well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that's oh. all. Oh, girl. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Actually, there I proved that Asahi not lied, but she oh, could have lied. How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? Because you're a bitch and she a detective. Because you can say that because the evidence proves someone about the after the Oh my god. Really? We're gonna do it this way? It's just. It's just. <sighs> what? Okay. There's my two bullets. When it comes to that protein can. There's not a doubt in my mind. Thank you. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. Uh, so you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible. Now you're a bitch. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. Okay. When the lock was unlocked, I was why I broke the window. I can't on that fuck. Okay. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. There's none of these. Until the locked room was unlocked, Ooh. it absolutely was no! not in there. I missed it. So you're saying Shit. someone flipped? No. Uh. It, it had to have been. It, it had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. Uh. Fuck. When it comes to that protein can. There's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before. Oh! I guess that shit. What? I was like super concentrated. I couldn't. I was like. You remember wait, how wait. there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? I still don't understand why that was of course, truthful. But it came from the window you broke to get in. God, this about... guy is being well, such a bitch about this. Holy shit! Y'all are like in a life or death situation. We also found pieces under. If you were the murderer, I would understand, but you're not. What? Mmm. The face of despair it. from the Apia. My face. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. Objection, motherfucker. Damn. I, I see. This so might be your... one of my favorite episodes yet right now. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can oh, or Kiko. tripped over it. If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. Which? But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. Yes, I uh, yeah. If that's all true, then... Why did Sakura drink the poison? 
I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. She wasn't tricked. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? She did it herself. You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Wow, it's almost like people actually have feelings and, you know, Such a ridiculous fiction is exactly what happened. Get told. Then tell us already. Er, sorry. Please, tell us. Yes, that'd be nice for once. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. No. Nope. What do you think, Makoto? The poison brought to the... I got it! Sakura herself. I think it was Sakura herself. It's like the saddest one for me. Well, one of the saddest ones, because then there's also Chihiro's huh? death. So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just... Oh, I feel so, sorry. I keep like checking like the recording, make sure it's like still good and all that stuff. Uh, and I keep seeing like my glasses no and like, the glare, and I'm just like, oh, this is weird. On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? So I. Uh. No, not again! It's like my third time doing. I already forgot all the controls. Have fun. Uh, have fun with my suffering. You're a liar. What are you saying? Wrong. You're wrong. I'm telling you, I did it. Stop talking. You're a liar. Wrong. You're wrong. Wrong. You're wrong. I hate you. I figured this out finally. You're wrong! I'm telling you. This is really easy. Stop talking! Oh fuck, my what must almost messed up. You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Wrong! You're wrong! Yeah. Do you have any kind of proof, Sakura? This should prove it. I feel so sad for Hina. Also, it's probably the easiest yeah. one I've done. Did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? It did? It did. She spilled it. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura... Wait. What else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. So, what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina. I'm like what trying to like Sakura? figure this out too in my head, and I'm just thinking being like, uh. Oh, it's gonna be a really and easy when Sakura uh, dropped the bottle, uh, final she dropped comic it away thing, from where, which excited. is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? No. But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? For the fucking poison. The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. Jesus Christ. After all, they're reiterating so much, so much things, we, so many things we already knew. This should be like at least me. once you. I, it's the poison because because I killed her. No, you didn't kill her. I can't use- oh, I can't use that. Where is it? What the fuck is- Sock it out. Here's my answer! The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. <laughs> what? I don't know why you're the so surprised. was- Sakura? Wait, so you're saying it was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly! That's a problem for you. Apparently you can fly now, because it's a thing. I don't want to believe it. She would do that to herself. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. She wanted to make right with everyone. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room, and she drank it. 
I don't know, the vacuum out of all the rooms. Their own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because of course... Sakura wanted to create the locked room. Locked room lock, 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 yeah. mystery was created by Sakura. It's not really a locked room mystery, it's more of sure just locked she door. locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. That's and the empty really bottle depressing. of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? Her reason's like the stupidest thing ever, too. Like... When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's where you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it... The more I realize yeah. how unusual I mean, okay. actions were. I'm not surprised that she's like how like how much you Wait, why was that suspicious? You said you were going to go get everyone else. But your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the Oh yeah, because they should have heard the announcement. Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section I'd like, tell the story powder. again, like, after all this tea yeah. is the worst part. You took the powder and poured it into Maybe the I will. Who knows? Maybe they'll take mercy on me. No idea. When oh. you left the lab, thinking about it like that, Oops. the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... Oh yeah, I was speaking now, but at the same time, I honestly could care less because fucking was focused on soccer. Kill me. You quietly placed the can on the ground. This is sad. Honestly, I should have noticed. Oh, you didn't. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. That makes sense. I actually is the most suspicious thing. I'm about to say, like, if it was about her, her accusations, it's like, that wouldn't so, make as much sense. Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence. And yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? Yeah! Oh my god. No! No, 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 no! no I, I still don't get why she's still doing this. That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is. Actually, no. You're right. We have to end this properly. Are you... Ugh. I was hoping we didn't have to. Okay. So this is gonna be the easier one, right? So the notes, so the, 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 and... Hey, what? Ah! Ugh. Uh... And that... Nah, that's not right. Oh! Oh! Uh, wait, what? Oh! Um. Ah, shit. The queen was missing, so the knight. And then writing Toko's name. Uh, running away, realizing what happened. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Uh. Upside down. Uh, the queen. Oh, Lola told to like right there. Ha! <laughs> good. Uh, and then. Uh, let's see. That's all that. That's all that. Uh. That and then grab that. Okay, and that should be it. Let's go. 
This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. But one of them ah, shit. she got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. Oh, it was the right one. Woo! I'll say it's hard to tell with those she two. Found she crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Then, from inside the locker, she saw something. I love the soundtrack to this game, like just low key. I have a, I have the, the entire soundtrack uh, on in a playlist, and I listen to that sometimes when I'm just like reading or whatnot. I don't know why he got scared. When he got there, he mistakenly thought soccer was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Oh, little Toby there too. I didn't even have to remember which one was was used when. A nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked. Like a fucking idiot. Thinking he killed her, he began covering up his crime. He took a magazine from the Look, you know, I do, I do wish Yasuhiro was the one that killed her. This guy will have to see what his uh his execution would look like. Toka, by writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear... Knock, knock, motherfucker, guess who? She jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. Uh, I would see more if she turned around and Sakura was right there. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. Sakura's too pure for this world. Alright, she was just like back a pure snowflake and I love her. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood soaked Sakura and she freaked out. And just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. I don't need to hear this entire story again. Really it's like the fourth time I've heard this story time. now, and I'm she just like not okay with it. Of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the queen chess piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked yeah. twice with the same type of weapon. Jesus. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. Oh, this is not what I was so talking then, about. What was Sakura's actual cause of death? Oh, that's that's weird. It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true lock room scenario, and then drank the deadly mixture. My pure precious child. There, she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had oh to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened. Knew that she had committed suicide. And that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. And while nobody was looking, and of course, put it on top of glass and stuff under. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. Which, and the one who went, dude, it's such a fucking effort. like dumbass reason too. Like I remember it. That's the full truth of the case. <laughs> Sakura took her own life. And yeah, try to cover and it. And you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? That's what happened. Y'all can get your bitch ass out of here, alright? Like, you try to be all smart and shit, and you can't even, like. You didn't even consider that. Get out. Makoto, how did you. Uh, because I actually don't look at just one thing and say, that it. I look at all the possibilities and all the evidence, and also my best friend and my bae is a detective. Gosh. 
how did you manage to... How were you able to uncover the truth that even I couldn't discern? Because you're not as smart as you think you are, bitch. Huh? Oh, well, I mean, you still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. See? Didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. He just got fucking told and I'm so happy about it. But he still remains a bitch for like the rest of the rest of the season and then seasons to come. Woo! Oh, aha, uh -huh. ha, those seas though. Bitch. Yay! Nice song. Okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Yeah, after like about over a fucking hour. Jesus Christ. Did you Christ. guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. Oh yeah. That's right. I spent like three hours on this. You seriously yeah. forgot? Yeah. <sighs> I can feel my energy draining out of me. Well, a whatever. Shame. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote. So, who will be chosen? Look at the spread over there. Will you make the right choice or the dreadful? Monokuma, did you hear this? Gonna be? What's it gonna be? Monokuma, we've already been to this. Hello? Okay, here we go. Is it time? Oh, fuck, it's time. I'm going to apologize now for anyone who this is their first time watching uh, or seeing any gameplay from Dangoropa. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna kill Sakura with Sakura herself. Okay, we're and done here. Wh what did you so say? That the whole truth, huh? I see. But there's still one thing I don't understand. Come on. You know, why did you try to why did you try to cover up what happened? If the truth hadn't come to light, you would have died along with the rest of us. Thinking? And yet you what did you do? Don't be mean. Yeah, we almost died there. What is this? Because that's exactly what I wanted. What? I mean, the reason Sakura died is because all you pushed her into a corner. You, you all killed her. So that's why. You should have been the one to die. Damn. I couldn't let be the only one that died. What? You don't mean you're gonna take us all with you? We have enough. We have to atone for our sins because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We have to pay for our crimes. You serious? That's. What is you this? You still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize how much despair Sakura was carrying with her when she died? Look at this. Oh, uh, such... Such morality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hands. That's... I found it on the ground in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. Suicide note? Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran after her and... Um... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. Oh. I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault after all. But now you are suffering because of me? No, you try to protect this. me, but because of me. I can't forgive I close... this. Your gay lover. My closest friend got hurt. Sakura. I... Because of me. Our friends are all going to kill each other. This is all my responsibility. Oh my god, I think I told my voice. Hold on a second. Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault, which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked to meet with them. You asked to meet with those three? You can't. Do you know how? Do you see how dangerous that is? Mm. Don't worry. I just want to talk to them. But, talk about what? Um. Listen. Don't do it. If they're getting up, if they're all getting up on you at once. Even you. You know. You know. Ah. Please don't think. Of things like that. They're not my enemy. They're friends. She is too pure. Sakura. She clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. You just if you just talked to her, if you understood, she was a friend to all of us. And yet Why? And yet If 
can't believe I have feelings. And then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um. No, that was just a misunderstanding. Who said that quote? A misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she has to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. Do you have any idea how desperate she was seeing her? You act like that? That's what a suicide note means. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hands. That's how far you pushed her. Uh -huh. Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. Hina, you came. Wait, wait, I'll help you out. Hina. Huh? I... I'm... I'm so glad I got to meet you. What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Huh? A favor? Some protein. Could I ask you to? Yeah, you got it. Just hang on. I'll be right back. My heart. That was the last conversation I had with her. My heart is just hurting right now. I was like, I wanted to get the protein she asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized. I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. Sakura. So I ran back to the wreck room as fast as I could. By the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! Please! Let me in, please open the door! Why? Why? Why does she have to die? Man, <laughs> she had weaknesses just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled it. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness, that's normal! And yet... Why? We all blamed her. She tried to protect... I tried to protect her and I suffered for it. And that just added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. You yeah. know... We killed her. All of us. And pushed her into a corner and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. Holy shit. It's not what Sakura wanted. And that's why you tried to lead us astray. You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. And you believed her too. Get fucked. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted to free her of her regrets. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Hey! Hey! I'm sorry to interrupt right now when you're about to deliver your final tear jerk, but hey. this is taking so long, 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 long! I'm about to fall asleep over here! I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What is this? What did you say? Hmm. Everything just says nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion of what her suicide note meant. What are you saying? Of course I know what she was thinking. It was her and me. In other words. We're gay lovers. Well, well I'm trying to stay here. Yes, indeed. Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really like this? What the heck? What is that? Of course! Isn't it obvious? Yep. A suicide note! Sakura's suicide note! Oh, what? But Hina already. I wrote that one. It was all me, baby. It's true. Well, Sakura just to Hina's put in her to put, and put it in her room. What oh, then? You huh? lied to me. I'm being. Don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. Just I thought I'd liven things up a bit. Well, now, well, I can't well, help well, if you well, totally now, took well, my little scrib uh, scribbles at face value. <laughs> I didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. Oh, fuck you. You filthy little... I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? Well, you did falsify evidence. <laughs> the case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, even if the world had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. It's just a problem. Well, this is all part of the production process. Okay? And scene cut. And... So then, what did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read you using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. Hey, hey. Wait, no. Have you ever been curious about the whole? Haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? But came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first but place. And isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know. <laughs> you can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. Oh, it gives me the willies. Enough already. Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay. Jeez, how about buzzkill? All right, here we go. Ahem. My good friend he I'm gonna I'm gonna do some my voice. My good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in the strange school that the mastermind came to see, see me. The mastermind took control Why is of my it? family's dojo. And demanded I become their tool. Why is it switching? You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, 
I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the mastermind. And what the mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the, cha the plan changed. The mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina... She was hella gay, Hina. My resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than anything... I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. I wanna... I, I am sad. That's how I came to feel. That's why Sakura. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoron? Oxymoronic or just moronic? Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. Why is it every once in a while there's no voiceover that every once in a while so there this is? This is my atonement for betraying you. Can we talk about you? this? Because I don't do a very good soccer mind. voice. But for just not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. Every uh, betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually would escalate to some, someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. Child. I have an obligation to get this, situa this situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do it as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do what I'm told and commit murder. But I've decided. The one I'm going to kill is myself. If Mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo is safe, and above all else, no none of you will have to kill anyone. And when I die, my the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give if my it life. If save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Oh, Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. No matter how many times I like hear this, I always, I'm like ready to cry. And then I have people like you in my life. I just want to cry right now. And Sakura, I don't feel cornered. Shouldn't I hate you? No so, way! She wanted to stop us from fighting? To protect us? Correct. She didn't end her life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. The sacrifice so much. No normal person can do that. However, it was only her limitless strength that made it possible. And you almost threw it all away too. Hina, oh fuck! I want to apologize the worst to part you of the especially. entire note. The reason I didn't tell you any of this was because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really, truly sorry. But please don't be sad. If I can thwart the mastermind's plan, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. It's the path I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And if you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end, I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant. I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakuya Toko and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I want you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions, not words. Hopefully when they'll see this- I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. I feel like it's a lot longer than it was in the anime. Lena, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else, no matter what. I will never survive. hear those words and not want to fucking cry. But this is... I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still... What are you gonna do? But then all the was like totally pointless. Oh. She died so you guys wouldn't try and kill each other, but you almost end up doing so anyways. <laughs> I see you, her death had no purpose at all. <laughs> In fact, it was because of her stupid, uh, stupid meddling that the rest of you had nearly bit the big one. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead, she deserves it. <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you mean, next next victim? No one here blames anyone. Huh? Hmm? First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hino with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death was a waste. Because she may just remember, we're not enemies that hate each other. 
We're friends who need to work together. You know? Damn straight. It's all because of our misplaced hatred. Well? I don't blame her. I can't blame her. No one else, and no one can blame Hina either. Either. I mean, they can be like Hina. That was a dick move, but that's about it. Oh, oh. Whether or not th there was a spy really never mattered because the one we need to destroy is you. No one else. What? What, what the heck? That's not how this is supposed to go. But anyways, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you. Remember, hey. your enemy is each other. <laughs> Absolutely right about that. Ah, lovely Byakuya, you understand, don't you? It's a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. Like me, no doubt that those are the rules of the game. <laughs> Which is why I'm bowing out of the game. <laughs> Literally the only good thing he does in this entire anime is just be like, yeah, so you're a life or death game? I'm out. Later. Huh? huh? Naturally. Sakura and Hino were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fears for this Don't game. There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I no longer will be participating in it. What's going on here? Hmm. Now I have only one thing to look forward to. And that is that they heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Biakuya, yeah, does that mean... Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentiment sentimentalism, if that's what you if that's what you're thinking. What if the master goes, I'll go, and if the master turns out to be a if that's one turns out to be a guy, then I can then I can catch on fire. One thanks, I guess. Well now you say that Sakura's death has no meaning. Hm, how boring. But nothing good can come from this. I'm still gonna be the one having the fun time. What the heck? What fun time? Hmm. Anyways, let's get a really good for nothing backstabber and get back on track. The moment we all been waiting for, punishment time! What? But Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead. You're not gonna. But. Is it me? Wrong. Oh, heavens no, just because the black kid is dead doesn't mean I can just summon whatever old student I want. I tell you, I'm very particular about the bear times one rule. What? Listen up! If I spent so much time preparing my special punishment, it would be a single go away. So for my special punishment, I prepared a special guest. Special guest? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Are you ready for one of my least favorite punishments? Because I'm not. Hello, my child. I'm sorry. I have to go through this again. No matter how many times I see, like... The worst thing is that Chihiro is, like, honestly one of my favorite characters. Actually, yeah, one of them next to, um, Sakura. I have to watch her die like twice. Don't do this to me. 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 I'm normally really excited for these, but not this time. You, Monokuma. I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna just go 1v1 on that fucking bear. <sighs> you. You suck, man. You turned him into a mango hold of junk. Well, that's like ahead of me. Maybe I'll go grab a plate of chicken. Oh, a grilled plate of chicken. After all, they say for a post workout grill, chicken's where it's at. And I'm all about the grilled goodness. Alright, boy, give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulents. Girl, that's where it's at. Yeah. So. I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. But, I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but. but when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. Uh, because for the sake of everyone that. else, I won't be afraid. Altigo's words raced through my heart and soul, my disbelief gave into raw anger. Then I turned the fury, black and muddy and boiling over, and bubbled through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting up through my mouth. How dare you? That was my friend! How dare you kill him? What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with the basketball? Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop, he was my friend. And you killed him. Hmm. Is that what you call it? An anima animism? Animism? Where soul dwells with all, all of the things? Even like laptops? Hmm. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got my way. It was trying to find all the out. It's trying to find out all sneaky, sneaky. Just as oh. I thought. So you finally noticed him. Actually. Finally. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. Yeah. I knew exactly what was going on. 
What was uh, how exactly is it gonna play out from the start? What are you thinking? You knew when you're still cocky enough to let us take the plunge. Yep. Well, I mean, the data in that laptop, it was, I guess you can call it a gift from me to you. Yeah. Or maybe more like a reward in honor, you, in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um... So, of course, if I didn't take care, uh, no, I didn't take, so of course I didn't ca take care if you got access to that. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> but speaking into the network was just too personal, so I had to take a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful, everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. I'll take him to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. And for that, he was killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the punishment time has made me feel a billion times better. This pain is a meaningless death. It's so soothing. It makes me remember that every low can get even lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. So everyone who's died so far, the deaths of each and every one of our friends, they all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Bum, bum. Holy moly, you're super mad. It's just unreasonably upset. Well? Okay, time to bring this thing to a close, but before that, uh -huh. I need to read the postscript. What? Postscript? Yep. Yep, there's still a bit more left to Sakura's note. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have your attention? Okay, then, here we go. Hey, it is for the delectant tones of yours truly. Well, I think, you know, there's something I'd like to, you to tell the others. Hopefully, it'll act as a clue to help you unravel the mysteries of the school. A clue? Hina. Ah, oh, fuck. I spoke of the mastermind on and off, off and on the whole time I've been here. So I've learned one thing, which is the mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is... Yeah! Whoopsie, easy. That was a close one. Another word, and we would have been hip deep in spoiler territory. Yeah. Ah, I like the look is being weird. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. You can't just stop at the most important bit. It makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even freaking know, huh? You That's the whole point, stupid. It gets back to... It's to get back to all of you for hardening your resolve. I'm fine, but at least Sakura's note. Mm. I could never let any of you grease balls have it. Mm. But... Too bad. He sucks for you, loser. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's that? What? What is it now? Well, There's one last line to know. Oh, he have pretty all of it? Let me say this in mastermind. I'm not going to lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard, no matter what. And that's seriously it. Hmm? Hmm, well, but that's a step of losing, huh? She won't lay down and die, I shall fight you. Mm. Well, whatever, who cares what some dead muscle head has to say. Well. Okay, I'm out of here! Mm. I guess you're trying to get some rest, you know? And maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach the school life of yours. And are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> <laughs> think it's better, think long, think hard. Those are the parting words before us disappearing. What was that all about? Sakura's final message, her last school helped us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Ooh. What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? The mastermind did something to our bodies? What are they trying to say the mastermind did? What did the mastermind do to us? Uh, I mean. Oh my god, I'm gonna forever. So did the mastermind plan a bomb nest or something? If we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off, and the bomb explodes? I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's not totally unheard of. Not that complicated. No, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo! So class trial is over, and Monica was gone. But... So, now what do we do? Yes. What What else is there other than to head back up? Uh, um... Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. I, um... You must feel, still feel responsible. Hmm. Hmm. Dial back that ego a bit, girl. The kind, the kind of mystery someone like you could pose, could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones who figure everything Stop out. Talking. Shut up. Get fucked. Seriously, I'm sorry. Hmm. How many times do you plan on apologizing? How about you make that the last one? I've reached a point where I need someone to apologizing me more than once. Sorry. Okay, I see what you mean. Then, um, I'll try. Huh? huh? Normal, right? Is she just capture his flag? No, 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 no! I can't suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. Huh? What are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleazeball like him? Sleazeball? Get bent. What the heck? That's why right, I called you a sleazeball, because you are a sleazeball. Jeez. Apparently, you still have a death wish. Uh, oh, a bit more biting sarcasm. No wonder you have my friends. Holy no, shit. No, no, no. He's not funny with Master. You're making me jealous. I want to be. I want the abuse, give and take. Me. 
I guess it's not sweet to everyone act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. But at the end of the class trial, can I finally go die in a corner? So Sakura's class trial came to an end and we returned to the world of Hope's Peak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on and we all went back to our rooms and before long, night snuck up on us. And now it is time. Fuck. Oh my god, I don't want this. Let me end. Jesus, I thought I would be able to do all this in like a neatly 30 minutes. <clears throat> School <clears throat> announcement 10 p.m. Nighttime. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna fucking. I'm not even gonna bother going to bed. Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with to sleep. I couldn't remember the last thing I just fell into a deep sleep, but the night still wasn't over for me. A voice I could hear. Still, I could hear a voice. What? Wake up. Wake up. Oh my god, please let me end. The voice dragged me from the deep slumber into a hazy half consciousness. My eyelids, eyelids were like lead. Kyoko, why are you in my room? Kyoko? Yes, it's me. Huh? Why? Okay, Kyoko? boy, did you leave your door unlocked? He said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, what? I flashed my right awake. What are you doing here? No, what? fuck it. I'm not. I, I'm almost at like an hour at this point. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna go and cry in a corner now because my favorite character. Well, my. No, now both my favorite characters are dead. And then, yeah, that was just her. That was just not a fun time. For me at all, so I'm gonna go die in a corner now. Either way, though, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, comment, check out my other videos, recommend my games. Let me know what you think of this game in the comment section below. Again, I'm gonna try and make these videos shorter uh, than this because I, I, I trust me, I have also a short attention span. So I, this, this would fucking kill me. Yeah. Either way, don't forget to see me with class. See you all next time. Bye, my lovelies.